Hello. Today after some break we are back with another classical game, Minesweeper. If you don't know they rules, they are simple, you need to find all mines located on a game field. Each open cell shows how many mines there are in the 8 cells nearby. Ok, let's start with HTML template and canvas. Our field will be set of cells and each cell will know about its status. The field is 9 by 9 cells. And we will store it in field variable. Also 5 cells will contain bombs. Note that we should be careful and not put two bombs into same cell. Next we can try and draw a cell based on its state, this is a bit tricky. First of all, let's reposition drawing context to the cell. We need to handle several cases. When cell is flagged or when it is opened. For flagged cell we just draw a flag using Unicode character. For open cell there are options. Either it is a bomb or it is empty or there is a bomb nearby. Bomb case is the easiest. Empty cell and bomb nearby case will be differentiated a bit later. In any case we need to draw something in the cell. To understand if there are bombs around we need to enumerate neighbors of the cell. This is quite easy to do, just need to be careful with field boundaries. Array C will contain all neighbors of the cell. Using it we can calculate how many bombs are around the cell. Nice. Next thing we can do is to draw the field. Basically we need to process each cell and do something with it, in this case draw the cell. We'll also use each cell function later on. Let's do a quick check in browser. We see a field, all looks good for now. To see how bombs are distributed, let's open the whole field and see how it looks. Ok, that looks reasonable. Let's continue with actions for the cells. Flagging is very simple, we can either add or remove a flag. Clicking is a different thing. First of all if we hit the bomb, we are in trouble. Also if we click on an empty cell we want to open nearby cells as well. We can do it recursively. Note that both flag and click functions return true if it was a good move and false if the game is lost. Now we should process an event that happened on canvas x and y coordinates. Determine which game field cell it is. And execute the function. Cell click is just a click event on the canvas. Execute process action function and that's it. Flagging is basically opening a context menu. But we don't want to show it. That's why we need to prevent event propagation. Again we can check in the browser to verify how actions work. Right now it looks as expected. The last step is to end the game. If we have flagged all cells with bombs then the game is won. Game over handling is very simple. We just open whole game field, show alert and reload the screen to start new game. Remember that flag and click functions can return false? It's indicator that the game is lost. And finally we are checking that the game is won. Seems we are done with coding and now we can play the game. First let's try to do some moves and lose the game. And now let's play carefully and try to win. Yes, we are good. I think this is it for this project. Hope it was fun and you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.